Hello everyone, welcome back to Napoleon Total War. And you can see that things aren't going too badly. Now, <clears throat> we're still building up the Navy. The Navy is primarily our main focus right now. And there's going to be like seven turns until such times as we're going to be in a position to do anything with that Navy. We have our trade ships in position. So that should help our finances a little bit more. So I can see the income next term is still pretty good. Now we will need the Navy down here soon to deal with the Spanish Navy. The likes of these fellows. And we are currently at war with them. We can't really ship any armies in that direction. Now whether or not it's worth getting some armies down into Greece ready. Now, we could obviously put an army there, or get an army from there. I mean, you can see they're in the process of replenishing their numbers. So what I think we may do... I think we don't have any Jaegers in here, do we? Let's recruit some Jaegers. And then that'll just fill out that army a little bit more there. We'll combine those into one. And then what we will do is we'll recruit some Hussars later. Actually, let's get that out. Let's just get the Hussars now. And then we'll get the... We'll get Standard Musketeers, what the hell. At least we can do that for the money that we've got available. Now, there's a drill school. And that will enable us to build Ulans, Hussars, Musketeers, Jaegers... And also Grenadiers and Dragoons, which will be very helpful. The real heavy horse will enable us to put uh, quite some significant brute force behind our armies. So, these guys here, we're going to have to build this up because Greece is going to sort of be almost like, almost a central part of the Mediterranean. I mean, you just have to look at how Malta and Greece were central parts of the World War II strategy for the British um, and you know how they can use Malta especially as bases and stuff like that so I think we should really look at the next turn putting in a magistrate and a barracks and a cannon foundry in that area so that's going to be our point of options for Greece and then we can uh, start building up an army. We can bring one of the other armies from here. Maybe one of the smaller ones. We'll have to wait and see. There's still a few small armies out here. You can see. There we go. That gentleman there. Bucks. Bucks Hoden. Bucks Hoden. Yeah, just that's how I pronounce it. But it's probably not even bloody close. My apologies there. And there, of course is the renowned General Kutsov. So we will need to use that army. Really. And the good thing is, is because this is all our territory, we can bring them down to here quite quickly, and then if need be, load them in to a port. Now, if we take this army up here... See, I don't really want to move them. Let's just take half of them. Ship them down to here. We'll take Kutasov's army. And we'll start moving them along towards Greece. So let's get them walking faster. So these guys are going to make their way round to Athens to work together with Benigsen. As that's a pretty fat, uh, fat and substantial army. So we could end up putting them in there, which is the commercial port, just to make sure that they've got both of those areas covered. And then obviously as we build up this fleet, over the course of seven turns, the armies should be fully replenished. I mean, those guys are literally at full strength, but we don't really want to move out of Athens. How is their general happiness? Imprisoned garrisoned forces, okay positive so there's not really a massive amount of negative really
um, the garrison forces still keeps it good. So, Athens is good in that regard. So, I think we're going to end the turn. And these are some spies and random people who are moving around to get a general area or idea of what's going on down there. Now, that looks like maybe France is starting to make some inroads into the Prussian territory. In which case, we might have to go in and do some damage. Now, this is going to be a problem with the French and the Spanish navies getting in there. And because I don't like the naval combat in this game, it means that I won't be fighting it, so I'll have to rely on auto-resolve. And as you guys know, relying on auto-resolve is always a very, very dangerous prospect. That's it. That's what you wanted to do. You wanted to walk a hundred yards down a road. Well done, indeed. So there's Denmark, Norway. Goodness me, look at that. Piracy. A rebellion in Ramella. Well, isn't that just lovely? So we've got to send our boys back because of this dick. <sighs> rebellion in Ramella. You're exempt from income tax. Screw it. I'm not going to make you exempt anymore. That's for damn sure. And here we go. Frigate. 32-gun frigate. 86-gun ship of the line. Hmm. Okay. Would be better to have him in there, but he's not, so whatever. Okay. So let's go first. Let's do what we were planning to do. Build magistrate that cannon foundry. Put that all into Greece. That should be built in three turns. Path has been blocked for Kazov. Let's bring him down here. And we're going to have to deal with these guys, aren't we? Oh, God, look at all that lot. Just insane amounts of people. Along with good recruitment. Oh, trade ship I saw. So, if I remember rightly, yeah, that's right. Um, we're going to here, into Navy. Must be over here then. Really? Okay. Maybe it's here. Ah. So, let's take this little fellow down to there. See, that's the problem there. It's these guys. So, let's see how our fleet progresses. Our fleet is progressing well. We still have six more turns before it's up to speed. Or up to strength, I should say. But obviously this rebellion here in Ramella has given us some issues. And look, there's another one over there. So let's move him. Let's move him. Ah, screw it, let's move him back. 
So, I think first things first. Let's go deal with those rebellious dogs. And while we're there, what else can we get? Get a couple. There we go. Some 38 gun frigates as well. So unfortunately, these guys are trying to attack there. And they're unable to, because they don't have enough movement points remaining. Um, those guys could get sabotaged by those guys, but we'll wait and see what happens. Um, we put these guys back on taxation. Because, you know, we're going to piss them off. We might as well do it properly. We might as well make some money out of those bastards. They're going to keep rebelling. And we were sending Kutasov down to here. But that's probably not going to happen. So, that's going to improve things. And we've got construction underway in Athens as my voice starts to break. Lovely. Piracy on the French seas. Go check because they might be nicking some of mine as well. In which case, we'll have to do something about it. Music, so beautiful. Well, at least the Austrian Empire is busy. Oh, really? Oh, no, Naples has pushed those guys out. Oh, that's fantastic. He's kicked the Spanish out of that location which is good news so here we go 3,900 against my 5,000 and so we are sallying forth should be an interesting fight to see what happens Hmm. Right. Oh, look at that hill. That's a nice hill, but covered by, again, horrible stuff. Let's put these guys over here, and then we'll put them up on that hill, up here. That'll give us good visibility. Right, so, let's see, we'll put in... Do we have Grens? Yes, we do. So, we have Grens here. And Grens there. So, those two will support the... That lot, and we'll have those guys in there as well, just as added bonus. So, that's that lot done. We'll have horses, which will be our Ulans, our Lancers, up on the far left. We'll put these guys over on the far right in the woods, and we'll control one of those guys.
So we'll wait and see what happens with that one. Right, so let's see. Um, now, let's make that bigger. So what we need to do now is get some regiments together that can... See, I like that hill here. This is a nice hill here. I think this may be a better option. Move them up to here. Let's do that. Put those guys there. Those guys there. Those guys there. And we'll have... There's just two regiments there. There's a third regiment there. We would really like four regiments on one side if we can. Um, that's the other one, the other grenadiers. So what we'll do is we'll move them into there. And make grenadiers make up this section of four. Now, what we can do is take these guys, line them up there, so that'll be the central section, and then over here on the left, we have another four regiments, possibly five regiments, which we can run like that. In fact, actually, it's probably better to run them down there so that they're a little bit more spread out. And we'll take these guys as well and put them sort of more there so that the, the forces are spread out a lot more and it's a lot more, a lot more variety in that regard. Okay, let's do that. So, the first things first, these guys need to get up to that hill. And then these fellows need to move to there. And these fellows will need to move to there. And they'll need to run. These gentlemen, this brigade can move up on the left. Sorry, on the right even. These guys... will move carefully up the centre and the large numbers who will be like an enveloping wing will move round here, that's the idea anyway so are they in position? they are unlimbering these guys can go into square straight away to protect that area And these guys, we will run up the sides to try and get in behind them and intercept this. Look at those massive cannons. I mean, they are just obscene. Well, they're only nine pounders. They're not too bad, but still. There's an ass load of them. And so, they are just out of our main cannon range, but, you know, as is not to reason why. Uh, let's get those guys out of that square there. Move that square up. And those guys are always going to take the fire. So, let's see if some of those guys can take it this time. And... Let's see. So they're in a good position. These guys needed to move down just a bit. And that's the point, actually. Let's get the general... 
over there. Now we can square those guys. So these guys will really need to run. And these guys will need to run. Because we want to run them in there. But this is the problem. Look at that. All that bloody horse. So what's coming up here? Azar's walking. Those guys should get into line and then start engaging. These guys are moving up. And we will stretch them all out so they move to there. So they cover that entire area. And they've broken already, which is what we'd expect under the firepower of the fine. Russian army. We are going to move these guys back a bit like that. Let's get all of these guys to run into their final positions. Meanwhile, these guys and move up a bit closer because soon we're going to want to make a run for the artillery and then get these guys in here as well like that like crap horses sir sir our general is under attack god damn those horses where's our general Okay, kid, solve you can go over there. Get your ass in gear, boy. This is where you have problems with the Ottomans because of the sheer weight of numbers. Let's just move those guys back a bit to there. And let's bring in our flanking force. boys and we gotta run them we gotta run them in because it's getting very very grim for these boys right now you can see here I'm having to move them to make sure they don't get a flanking position on them which is the danger for our lads so those guys are gonna move in these guys will stay here. We can't make a jump there yet because there's too much horsemen. That's the problem. We got to flush out and clear out the horsemen before we can even consider going after the cannon. Let's change that to normal line. Those are breaking. Come on, boys. Come in. With the reinforcements that you know are needed. Guys on the end, they're holding. These guys are holding the line well. Doing a fantastic job, guys. Uh-oh. Kill the Denny horseman, please. Let's get those guys in after the Denny rifleman. No, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. 
Get those guys the hell out of dodge. Kite them away if you can. Those guys are all breaking in the center, which is excellent news. This is bad. This is bad here. But it's about to become a whole lot better. Because our reinforcement line has now arrived. You guys enjoying yourself? They seem to be quite relaxed there, don't they? The good thing is, is now we've got these guys coming in. We'll be able to move them up. Like so. And essentially close the Russian door. But these guys can now move to there. And these guys can move up even closer. See, so those guys have been kited away, which is what we needed. We'll charge in from the back there. Whoops a daisy. Oh, we got jumped by horse. It's not good at all. Come on, boys, just get the hell out. Get the hell out. I don't want you embroiled in that battle. I want you away from it. So, let's see. How are our boys doing? The boys are looking good. The boys are looking good. And what we might actually need to do is move these four regiments over to the right to engage this lot. Is that horse? Yeah, it's horse. Hello, boys. Have some squares. Oh God, some of the boys have been knocked. Flying. But this should take massive toll on their cavalry. And I do mean massive toll. How are these guys getting on? Those are broken, so we're going to move these guys up further engage that little bit further and closer. These guys can now also move up. And these guys can also continue to push. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, not surprised. That was the first of the we didn't get the square quick enough, I don't think. But see how are these guys doing uh, they're winning slightly so it's not too bad and how are our boys over here so they're not in combat Let's send them into that lot see if they can at least act as a little bit of a, an annoyance, a fly in the ointment, so to speak. Let's bring these guys round like that. So they'll be flanking on those forces, hopefully break them. There we go, these forces have all broken in the centre, which means we need to push the advantage. Our men are running, we need to sir. push it hard. So let's 
let's see. Get these guys there. These guys out of square, out of square, out of square. Get all these guys moved up. Because our men are running, sir. Where from? Ah, I've lost the horse. Damn it! That was always a danger. They're going to break. Where is our horse with that remains? Any horse? No horse. Damn it. We needed that horse to deal with the goddamn cannons. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move these guys in like that and hit those cannons on the side. But we'll also probably have to square those guys to make sure that they don't take too many casualties from the horse that will be coming in. Let's move those guys up to continue the fight. Well, you know, it's horses. The angry Delhi horsemen. You can go into square. what we're after. Perfect, just what we wanted. So these guys here, we send them in and we'll bayonet all of those. So they're running. Put them in there as well. Still a large number of horse over there. But the most important thing is that we are neutralizing the cannons. That has got to be the most key thing about this battle as far as we're concerned. Get those guys as well. And then let's move these guys up. Because you then got to deal with this lot. Yep, they've broken. Let's pull those guys back. Out of the way. Glorious victory, sir. It's and then we'll move yours. these boys up as well. Have a square. Oh, you guys are boned. Completely boned. Look at this. See ya, fellas. Oh, God, look at that. That is just brutal. They literally lost. God. Nearly 140 men in a matter of seconds. That's why this square is just so brutal against cavalry. So important. So let's get those guys out of square now. And there's a general who's waiting to get shot. How wonderful. Well, we're nothing if not obliging. Let's just say that. Let's just move that to that. Come on, General. Come and play ball. Yeah, let's end the battle. Wow. And it's fair to say that was quite the punch-up. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Kazin Anvi deployed 3,900, lost 2,600. We deployed 5,000, lost 1,300, which is good. Now, we did the best. 
A Kutsov. Oh, look at that, the Cossack cavalry. Who lost the most? Oh, the Musketeers, 203 men. Who killed the most? Oh, the musket. Look at that. 329. Wow. And in comes the second version. <laughs> yeah. So. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode there. Um, because otherwise it will be too long, and we shall come back at you with the next battle against Abbas Sakir from the Ottoman rebels. We'll see you next time.